This is the nest of a northern giant hornet. If you shine a light on it, you can see lots of larvae. If you introduce ants, how will the larvae react? One night, a friend of mine called me over. He handed me a northern giant hornet nest and left swiftly. So I took the nest straight to the laboratory. Ta-da! Here is the northern giant hornet nest. An acquaintance earlier mentioned how challenging it was to obtain. Giant hornets build their nests underground, so stepping on a northern giant hornet's nest in the mountains can be very dangerous. This nest has several chambers where larvae grow. The one I have here features multiple layers. I prepared a light and shined it inside. Wow! There are numerous northern giant hornet larvae. I was very surprised. I immediately examined them under a microscope. Look at all these larvae. I picked one up with tweezers. Ooh, it's big. It's large enough to be seen with the naked eye. I've heard that some people eat these larvae. They must be juicy, regardless of taste. To look at the larva more closely, let's examine it under a microscope. First, on the side of the larva's body, you can see several dots. These are called spiracles, which are air passages for breathing. Interestingly, northern giant hornet larvae expelled from the nest cannot crawl. The larva feeds on food provided by worker wasps in its chamber and becomes a pupa. It has no legs because it doesn't need to move and its body structure prevents it from moving around. Next, the larva's face shows that its eyes have not yet developed. So it has limited visual function and its other sensory organs, including the antennae, are underdeveloped. They are observed to move their jaws continuously as they grow in a chamber, feeding on the food provided to them. By the way, do you hear that sound? The larvae use their jaws to scratch the inside of the nest, making a distinctive sound. This sound is a signal to the worker wasps asking for food. So to observe the larvae feeding, we fed them dead ants. By placing them in the chamber, we could observe them eating. In nature, worker wasps hunt insects and process them before feeding them to the larvae. However, northern giant hornet larvae have a voracious appetite and respond positively to unprocessed food like this. When we fed the larvae outside, we could see them clamping their food between their folds. How cute! After a long observation, we noticed a liquid substance around the larva's mouth. This is surprisingly a kind of nutrient exchange, similar to what I showed you in the ant video. The larvae secrete this liquid nutrient substance as they digest their food, but the adult worker wasps also benefit from it. Isn't that fascinating? Finally, looking at the larvae in a giant hornet nest, the younger larvae are located further outwards from the center. This pattern is due to the hornet's habit of generally laying eggs from the center of the nest. Then, I was surprised. When I inspected the edge of the nest, I found many small eggs. It's horrifying to think these could all be northern giant hornets. But fortunately, I don't believe these are northern giant hornet eggs. This is because hornets usually lay only one egg per chamber. A small insect emerged from this egg, and when I magnified it, I saw what it looked like. I don't really know what this insect is, so if anyone knows what kind of larva this is, please let me know in the comments. That's all for this video about the larvae of the northern giant hornet. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. Unlocking Mysteries with Science. This was Fishy Science.